What if I told you the secret to levitation is a green man with a stick? Or that the secret to instantly solving a Rubik's Cube is having a mini clone of yourself? Oh yeah? Not now. Huh? Well, that's what I've been telling the internet through a series of viral videos that have got over 20 million views, all claiming to reveal magic's biggest secrets. And you won't believe some of the reactions. Infuriated beyond measure. World's biggest liar. Putting you in my don't recommend list. Very annoying garbage. If you ever feel useless, remember this channel exists. So we're going to dive into these fake reveals, look at the funniest reactions, and ask the question, how gullible is the internet? All right, the first reveal with over 100,000 views. Here we go. I'm going to reveal this magic trick. Here's what you'll need. A glass, clear liquid with a viscosity similar to water. Water will do. And a hairdryer. The hairdryer is going to provide just the right amount of lift to keep the glass from dropping. Look at that. And for any clever clogs out there wondering how the glass doesn't drop with the weight of the water constantly increasing, let me explain how evaporation works. Right, you know what water does when it gets hot, don't you? It turns into steam, yeah? Well, the heat coming from the hairdryer causes any additional water that's going to drop in to evaporate, so the weight of the glass never actually changes. That, my friends, is called science. I mean, given where the hairdryer is, the heat from the hairdryer also warms up your sack, killing off most of your sperm, but, you know, you're a magician, so your chances of procreating are pretty slim anyway. Also, the only other downside is that the method can only really go undetected when you perform it to deaf people. Apart from that, though, it's a worker. What was that? It's a worker. Surely nobody looked at this and thought it was real, right? That, my friends, is horse shit. You're not wrong, Johnny Banjo Pick. Funny, but some kid has probably electrocuted themselves. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that. Why am I laughing? That's bad. I hope nobody has actually watched this and try doing it that way. No hairdryer will get water to reach 100 degrees. <laughs> really question the science behind it, okay. You know someone is going to try this and electrocute their nuts. I hope not. This wasn't the point of the video. I don't think anyone fell for that one, but there's enough people thinking that other people would fall for it and electrocute themselves. I don't know if that counts. Let's do the next one. I'm going to reveal this magic trick and you won't believe the secret. Here's what you need. Sweets. For legal reasons, we can't name the brand, but look. nice one. You want a lawsuit, do you? You also need a Rubik's Cube. Don't use a regular size one though, use a mini cube, because the mini one will give you the perfect amount of sweets. You use a big one, and you won't be hungry for your dindins, will you? Too many sweeties, you know what I'm saying? So here's how it works, and it does take a bit of practice, but once you get the method down, it'll be 100% worth it. In fact, this method's so good, it's now being used by magicians in movies. I know that, because I taught Benedict Cumbersnatch myself. Teach me. All right. So here's the secret. You're gonna detach your essence from your physical self and enter into the spiritual realm. Time slows down in this virtual realm, so you've got plenty of opportunity to swap the cube for the sweets in the physical world. Just don't eat any. If you eat anything in the spiritual realm, it will rip the space-time continuum and you'll immediately die. Let's try that again. Leave your physical self, swap the cube for the sweets, don't eat any, and when you're done, then enter back into yourself. Isn't it obvious once you know? No one's watching that thinking it's real, right? That's fair, isn't it? Let's just assume that, he says. Now how am I supposed to do that? Leave my physical body? In all caps, this could be someone who actually thought they were going to get a reveal and they're always annoyed by the method and they don't know how to lose the physical body. Y'all, he has the best Scottish accent. Is no one else noticing this? Proud Scotsman over here. Such a lie, bro. Lots of bros going about on the internet, isn't there? Got a one follow. Apparently I replied to this one 15 weeks ago. Thanks, mate. Glad you liked it. <laughs> it made me laugh couple in there that I'm not sure if they got it or not, but usually with this sort of thing, the more views a video gets, the crazier the reactions get, so I can't wait, because some of these have got serious numbers. In fact, this one has got 1.5 million views. This should be good. You won't believe the secret to this magic trick. Here's what you'll need. A Rubik's Cube. That's it. Now the current world record for solving a 3x3 Rubik's Cube is held by a guy called Max Park and he did it in 3.13 seconds. Yes! But with this method, you're going to be able to solve the cube even faster than that. The first step is getting your fingers nimble enough to be able to operate the cube quickly. You want as little friction as possible, so a little layer of butter on each hand is needed. And you're going to practice just randomly flicking the cube about. This is all about doing as many moves in as little time as possible. Once you've got this down, you're going to turn your camera on, sit down, and just randomly keep mixing up the cube dead fast. Statistically, at some point, you're going to get dead lucky and just accidentally solve the cube. Yes! It's that simple. You just keep turning it until you fluke it. And it only took me a week to get a decent take. Five days in, I almost got it, but I didn't take it very well. Oh, 
Yes. No. You. I want to see real Cuba's reactions to the butter. Three and a half thousand likes. As a Cuba, every single second made my ears want to bleed. <laughs> I'm traumatized. Hi, real Cuba here. That is nothing short of a terrible idea. As a speed diver, <laughs> the butter is funny, but wouldn't work at all. It would also make the cube very messy. Spoken like a real speed diver. Love the part where he tells us. <laughs> I know there's gonna be about 10,000 kids who actually think he uses butter and try it themselves. At this rate, there's going to be kids with butter trying to solve a Rubik's Cube and kids getting electrocuted trying to levitate a glass. Are we at the point where making these videos is ethically wrong? This is mental. As a cuber, I hope I never see someone touch a cube with hands covered in butter again. It hurts. Hell. Real cuber here. I hated it. I think it's fair to say the Cuban community was not a fan of this video. As a speed cuber myself, this video makes me die inside. Right, well if that would annoyed people, this one's proper taking the mick. Have a look at this. I'm going to reveal this magic trick. Here's what you need to... Oh, Here's what you need to perform the trick. A wallet. A source of fire. A lighter will do. Jesus Christ. Now before you start getting fire involved, you want to make sure that all that money you've got, all that wonga, all that dough, that goes inside the wallet, right? You don't care about money. It means nothing to you. You're a magician. Just magic some more up. Who cares about inflation? Oh my God! So here's the secret. When you open the... Forget it. Forget it, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Go get a job. You know what, even as I watched that back, the sound just on my laptop, I looked up like, what? there's a fire. It's quite convincing, that. Go to a other room or outside, but show us, please. <laughs> Poor lad, really wants to know how it works. I literally unfollowed because how loud the alarm was. Like, just go to a different room. <laughs> Bro's got the most sensitive fire alarm. Bro is not in my vocabulary. There's a lot of bros going about. Bro, legit thought my alarm was going off. We've got bro and bro. And boy, boy. I just got new fire alarms and thought they installed a defect one. <laughs> right, out of all these like fake reveals, I think this one's my personal favorite. I'm gonna reveal this magic trick. And you won't believe the secret. Here's what you need. Green tape. A stick the same width as your arms, and a wedding ring. Well, any ring really. You sat watching a magic tutorial, the chances of you having a partner is slim, never mind being married. Now the method is so satisfying, it's like popping bubble wrap. I take that back, this is my bear. So here's the secret, and don't tell anyone I told you this, because I'm breaking a magician's chode right now. Code. You're going to wrap the stick in green tape and attach the ring onto the end of the stick. You're going to get a friend of yours to dress up in a green morph suit. Jesus, creatively this already sets you apart from all the other magicians because none of them have any friends. Your mate's now going to crouch down to the side of you and point the stick out in front of you so it looks like the ring is now floating. I think the rest is pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, use a green screen chroma key, remove the weirdo you let into the garage with a morph suit on. I heard that. And voila, a genuine bona fide miracle. Only thing is it can only be done on camera, unless you happen to be stood in front of a green screen. Or you live in a rainforest. Isn't it obvious once you know? Right, you know that bit where I tap on the window and I surprise myself? <laughs> imagine, imagine if the postman had turned up when I'm stood in my garden, dressed in a green morph suit, knocking on my garage window. I don't think I'd ever get post delivered to this house again. You're so annoying for these. <laughs> Garbage. Three different people saying I have no friends. Right, we're starting to get into some silly numbers now. So 600,000 views across socials on this video. And this is another Rubik's Cube thing, right? Here we go. You won't believe the secret to this magic trick. Now I've already revealed how you can instantly solve a three x three Rubik's Cube in a previous video, but the method for the bigger one is slightly different. Here's what you need. A wrinkly old sack. The majority of people watching this have probably already got one of these. A seven x seven Rubik's Cube and a mini clone of yourself. All right. All right. So your mini clone's gonna get inside the bag. Going to get in now, yeah? Yeah, you get in my little mate. Going in. That's the way. Now you're gonna put the cube inside the bag. And here's the thing, your little mate's gonna do all the work. He's gonna solve the cube inside the bag. How are you getting on? Yeah, nearly there. Spot on. You just gotta wait for the signal. You just gotta wait for the signal. Yeah, done now. There you go. Now look at this. The cube is now solved. You can receive your standard ovation, and to make sure that people don't think there's another cube in the bag, you just crush the bag. Hang on, what? You just crush the bag. Oh, oh you gangly bag. Ow. Standard ovation, guaranteed. I don't think anyone's gonna believe this one, but still. I wanna know what the cubers think. How do you do this? 
He just told you. <laughs> Go on, Steve. Bro, clone just casually brought the 7x7 world record. Bro is so polite to his mini clone. What is it with the bro? Little Jack is got to be so smart. Couldn't have said it better myself. Instructions unclear. I now have a Rubik's Cube stuck in my wrinkly sack. <laughs> World's biggest liar. He's not happy. Putting you in my don't recommend list. It's probably not a good idea on YouTube to make parody videos that annoy people, but it's funny, isn't it? Bro. Another bro. It actually worked. This is 100% not click big. It's not click big. Now these so far have all been like just crazy methods, but this one, the method is actually a trick in itself. Have a look. How do magicians always know what card you've picked? I'm going to show you how, and I'll tell you what, you weren't going to believe the secret. I'm not joking. A card gets picked, in this case the Ace of Hearts. Now, it looks like it gets lost in the pack, but really it's controlled to the bottom through a series of cuts and shuffles that really demonstrate how lonely I am as a magician. At this point, you'd think it's just a case of peeking that bottom card, but oh no, I'm a magician, remember? So I'm going to find the most needlessly complicated way of getting that peek, which involves drawing a little door. Now, the whole thing doesn't work unless you've got a little knob. And yes, I am talking about the door, thank you very much. Now the peak happens when no one's paying attention, which for me is throughout the majority of my act. This is what you do. You open the door, you look at the Ace of Hearts, what's that, there's a draft? You want me to shut the door? No worries, I don't want you getting cold, mate. And like a pee pee stain on your favorite pair of pants, you're now gonna wipe away the evidence. Isn't it dead obvious, once you know? That's how magicians always know your card. And trancy in your pants thinks that it's no. They're just very forceful. <laughs> I think he or she means forcing a card. I don't know. They always act like they'll tell you the secret, but they never actually tell you and just give you another secret to solve. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I wonder if it's all just really an, an illusion, like life. That got pretty deep pretty quick, didn't it? All right, next video, 7.9 million views. I can't wait. I'm gonna reveal this magic trick. Here's what you'll need. Two rubber bands. Magic. Tape. A mint with a hole in it. I can't name the brand we're using, but let's just say Marco Polo would have loved this trick. First off, you're gonna snap one of the rubber bands. Be careful not to hurt. <laughs> now thread the polo, sorry, mint, through one end of the band. Then tape up the two ends together. If you do this neatly enough, no one should be able to tell it's been modified. Now put another polo, sorry, mint, in your mouth. Don't eat it. This is an ideal trick, by the way, for magicians with bad breath. So most magicians then. You're then going to put the normal rubber band in your mouth with the mint, then you're going to shout something random and point. Whoa! Your audience will turn around at this point. This is a technique, by the way, called misdirection. Under this cover, you're then going <coughs> to spit the mint out and swap the rubber band for the modified one. Your audience then turns around and voila, you're the next David Blaine. But, <laughs> but how did you do it the first time without yelling at us? I want to know. The way he said tape, it's the tape for me. Tape, I don't know what the issue is. Tape, got me on the floor. Tape, loving the Yorkshire born and bred accent. I think you might be the only one, Sean, because everyone's taking the mick out of how I said tape. He said teep. I tell you what, this guy doesn't miss much, does he? I think he is hiding something from us. That wasn't the full truth there. He's kept something to himself. Tape, tap, we need a tap. Bro said tape. It's not tape, tape. Tape, tap, tap, tip. I don't know what tape is. Tap is how you said tape. Tape. Wait, but how did he do it with us looking in the start? You must have turned away at the critical moment. Blinked, mate. You must not have been looking. <laughs> it's, good, it's good when people in the chat carry on the Mickey taking. That's brilliant. I'm still trying to work out what brand of mint he is using. <laughs> All right, this final reveal video got 9 million views, right? I can't wait to show you this, but what I'm finding is that a lot of people that are commenting seem to be wanting to actually learn magic on the internet, and it's probably the most confusing place to try and learn it properly. I'll give you an example. Let's say you wanted to learn like a novel card move, right? You probably won't find that on the internet because it's on page 99 of a book that was put into print 100 years ago. The expert at the card table. Some of the best tricks of the last few centuries are hidden in these classic magic books, which you can get access to for free. Thanks to the sponsor of this video, The Daily Magician, because these guys have done magicians a massive favor and compiled 24 of these classic magic books worth over two and a half grand, if you bought them today, by the way. Books from guys like Houdini, Erdnays, Robert Houdin, they all exist somewhere out there in the public domain, but The Daily Magician 
collected the best ones into one easy place where you can get them for free. All you need is an email address, sign up to the mailing list and you get instant access to that wealth of knowledge. I'll leave a link in the description, just make sure you check it out before the offer's gone. Now, where were we? How does a Rubik's Cube end up in a glass jar like that? No way in, no way out, it's trapped. I'll show you how and you're not going to believe the secret. First off, you need a mini Rubik's Cube, one that'll fit inside the jar. If you don't have one of them, just take a normal size Rubik's Cube, shove it in your tumble dryer, put it on a hot spin and it'll shrink it to the perfect size. Then you're going to plant the cube in the jar, leave the jar in direct sunlight and water it every couple of days or so. Eventually the cube will begin to grow and before you know it, your baby will be all grown up. All right, that's a joke. Here's how you actually do it. You'll kick yourself once you see how it works. It's so obvious. You just put the things next to each other, right? You take the Rubik's Cube in the glass jar and you just push solid through solid, all right? The only sort of penetration the speed cube it gets. Wham, bam in the hand is that jam in the glass jar. No, it's a children's toy trapped. Get it obvious once you know. The question you want to be asking is how do you solve a cube that's in a jar? And the answer is painstakingly recreating each square in Photoshop, exporting that as a PNG file, then layering that on top of the video. All for this. Probably not worth it. Either Matty always saying you need to melt the glass jar around the cube, or he's calling me a melt. Probably the latter. The only sort of penetration a speed cuber gets I can see the speed cubers not finding that line very funny. The fact nobody else commented about this shows what losers we are. <laughs> As a speed cuber, I can verify this statement. <laughs> New watering method unlocked. Spit. How many kids broke their washing machines? Oh my god. This thing with the kids, we've got kids putting butter on their hands, electrocuting themselves and sticking Rubik's cubes in dryers. If you ever feel useless, remember this channel exists. <laughs> Bro answered everything but the question. Well, Bro's been trying to answer a different question. How gullible is the internet? And... <laughs> Let me try that again. And actually the answer is not really that gullible. There's a couple of people here that maybe thought some of it was real. But mainly what we've learned is that kids are in danger watching my channel. The most overused word on the internet is Bro. And I don't know how to pronounce the word tape, apparently. So, you know, this wasn't a waste of time after all, was it?